Hi there to everyone watching and welcome back to my Eurovision channel. My name is Terry and this is my very first video for the upcoming Eurovision 2024 season which appropriately, appropriately enough is on 1st of September which is of course the official date from when potential Eurovision entries uh, can be refilled or performed or released in any official format according to the rules. Um, so, you know, it's a very appropriate date. And of course, this video is reacting to the news that yesterday we received about Belgium selecting their artist for Eurovision 2024. So in this video, I'm just going to be doing a reaction to that news, reading up a little bit about the artist and also reacting to some of their previously released music. So I hope you enjoy this video and please do consider clicking the like button down below if you do and yeah just let me know in the comments what you think about this news and all of that um ah yes but without any further ado let's begin the show yeah. and of course we uh, got the news yesterday that the Belgian representative is being selected and I've got up here the Eurovision.tv uh, announcement uh, article which I'm just going to go through and read up a little bit of information about him before we... Uh, listen to some of his previously released music. So I can see here that we've got here that they're the first country to announce their artist for Malmo next year. Um, and it's going to be Musti. Um, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correct. That's going to be representing Belgium. I can see here that he's got two successful albums under his belt. So obviously someone that is very experienced, which is always very good to see. And I can see that all for a composer, singer and actor. So hopefully we'll be getting a very good performance performance, stage show, staging, all of that. That's all very exciting to read. So it looks like he's someone that can really sell the song and performance uh, to the crowd, which is, of course, uh, a very important thing to do in Eurovision. Um, and what else do we have here as well? We've got some information here about him landing a lead role in a French TV movie, um, which is all very interesting as well. And what we see, two albums to, to his credit here, successful tours as well, which is very good. Reve Revelation of the Year trophy at uh, some awards here. So, yeah, very interesting to see that. It looks like next year, set to be busiest year, representing Belgium at Eurovision, returning as a permanent judge on Drag Race Belgium. And um, going to be also in a style in a film. So it looks like next year will be very busy for him. And of course, coming on the footsteps of Gustav here in 2023, we've got Belgium seventh place, one of their best results in Eurovision. So it will be a tough act to follow to get a better result than that. But very interesting to listen to some of his music to see whether that could be possible. Um, but that's a little bit on his background. Um, so without further ado, let's move on to listening to some of his previously released music to see if we can get a bit of a flavour for what his performance skills are like. Okay, so I'm going to be listening to two of his previously released music. We've got Blind, which will be the first one up. That's from about four years ago, I think. And then Skyline, the other song that I'm going to be listening to, which looks like it was uploaded to YouTube last year. Um, so let's take a look and see what we think of these two. And let's listen to Blind first. Interesting start here, very visually uh, engaging. Nice focus there, definitely like the texture. A bit gospel maybe. Definitely got a modern vibe there, but I'm also getting a bit of an 80s in some aspects there as well, in the sort of style. It's a good start. I 
like in this chorus got a nice beat and a nice rhythm yeah it's got a catchiness to it as well I feel yeah definitely got a nice sort of vibe I'm kind of like in the dark uh, moody vibe that's going on as well so strong start here with this song Yeah, I'm definitely getting a sort of 80s vibe there with the song, the sound of the song, his vocals and the general vibe of the song. It's giving quite strong 80s, which is quite good. I do quite like 80s music. And I can actually definitely see this song being something that if it was to be re recreated in Eurovision with his actual entry would be something that I could see that would really appeal to the juries so the song does seem very well constructed and I think there's definitely a potential there in a telephoto as well if there's like really good sort of engaging staging that surrounds the song I quite like it, the sort of the instrumental in the background we've got there, that is very appealing as well. So overall, I say this is a very strong first introduction to his um, musical catalogue. Okay, so that was a very strong first song that I listened to. So very interested to see what Skyline sounds like because this is a bit more recently released. So perhaps it might be a bit more of a stronger indication of what he's doing at the moment in terms of his musical creativity. So the song's called Skyline. Uh, so let's take a listen. Is there something real in the sky? Nice soft start, like the piano. Nice vocals coming through. So interesting to see where this goes on. So I'm sure it's going to kick in at some point. Getting a bit more of that sort of gospel -y vibe there with the uh, vocal layering, I'm guessing it's called. Okay, so at the moment we've not kind of really punched in with a beat or something. We're kind of getting it a bit now, but it's still on the mellow side. Still enjoying it a lot low. Had some really good focal moments there in that chorus section. Okay, so we're kind of pushing in a bit now, giving a bit more energy and strength. I think this is a song that perhaps more than being big on the beats and the melody is perhaps more a good chance to show off strong vocals. But now we're coming in, it's really kind of kicking in a bit more with the beat and giving more energy. And I can really see this perhaps with quite effective staging and lighting. I think it's a song that could really if utilise that very well on staging, if something like this was to go to Eurovision for him.
enjoying this one but it's definitely as I said very a lot of musical qualities there and I really would be interested in seeing this live so I think live this could really be a very engaging um, sort of capturing the moment feeling uh, which perhaps you don't always get from just a music video. I think a live performance this would be something that would really grab your attention. Um, so yeah, again, a second song, very strong, very effective, very enjoyable to listen to. And yeah, so there's, there's most of my reactions to the two songs that I've chosen at random for Misty. Okay, so there we have it. Those were my reactions to two of randomly chosen songs from Musty's um, catalogue and discography. Um, overall, I was really impressed by both songs. I think they both showed a lot of musical credibility and art artistry, strong vocals, you know. So really, really interested to see what it goes with for Eurovision. Of the two, I did slightly prefer the first song I listened to, Blind, a little bit more. I think there was just a little bit more there in the melody for me to latch onto. But I do appreciate that the second song, Skyline, was also very, very strong. On. And I do think performed live that possibly could be more engaging slightly. So I feel that there's more opportunity for the emotion and vocal strength and quality to come through. Um, so yeah, I would actually be interested to see that if I saw live performances of both of those, would my opinion slightly change? But that being said, I did really like both of them, and I am really intrigued to see what is eventual Eurovision song will be. Belgium are normally one of the last to reveal their song when they have their internal selections, um, when it's from the, um, I think it's from the French broadcaster this year. They normally do reveal their entry quite late in the day. Um, so we probably will have quite a bit of a wait until we find out what it's going to Eurovision with. But of course, once that is selected, I will be reacting to that song. So if you did enjoy this video, please consider clicking the like button. And please also consider subscribing because there will be lots more videos coming along the way throughout the rest of the Eurovision 2024 season. And uh, please do let me know in the comments what you think about this are you well if you're Belgian are you very excited about Misty representing you, you in Eurovision next year uh, what are your thoughts on this election if you're not Belgian it'd be very interesting to hear your thoughts as well so please do let me know down in the comments uh, thank you very much for watching this video hope you enjoyed it and until next time take care and goodbye